Uh, okay, can you explain about this inflow performance curve? We have PWF here and QG here. This is gas well inflow performance. Why the curve going down? Why, why not it going up? What about it? Um, as the bottom of flowing pressure decreases the uh, gas flow rate, go up rate or go increases. down? As the bottom of pressure go up, and then what happened to the gas flow rate? It increases. This go down, right? Okay. So this one tells you that if you choke the well, reservoir, oh, okay, so bottom of pressure is a lot. You cannot flow, right? If you open it fully, then it can flow a lot. Right? So you have seen this before. Yes, or no? who have not seen this before? Okay, don't do that. Raise your hand. <laughs> Okay, next one. Trey Modin. Hi, Trey. How about this one? Inflow and outflow performance curve. So the one that going up like this, what is that for? Um, it's to show... Uh, so the one going up, is that outflow or inflow performance curve? That's outflow. Outflow. Yeah. It's to do what? It needs to touch the IPR curve. It needs to touch. Slightly touch like that, or have a cross like that? Cross like a uh, seat cross. Mm -hmm. So, and this is your operating point, right? You have seen this yes. before? Yes. Okay. That's the point. Who have not seen this before? Who, who did not take the nodal analysis class? Raise your hand again. So, did you see this before? Okay. You will be fine. Okay, it's, it's just that. Nodal analysis. You see this node pressure, production rate. Just that. So this is important to our facility class, okay? It is matter because, let's say, you choke the wheel a lot, okay? You have no flow, right, if you choke the wheel a lot. So if you select a separator that is too small, okay? Basically, if you select a separator that is too small, or you select a pipe that is too small, Instead of two inch pipe, you use just one inch pipe or something. So if your pipe is too small, it's equivalent to choking the well. And reservoir fluid cannot come out. Okay? Because the pressure is too much. We, we push back against it too much. Okay? So if your pipe is, okay, I should show you the picture. Okay, next one. Ernesto Munoz. E R N E S T O. Okay, hi. Have you seen this Darcy equation before? Yes, of course. How about it? Can you tell me where do we use it? In the pipe? Do we use this Darcy law in the pipe? No? In the reservoir? Yeah. Yes, okay, just that. Okay, good. So, maybe this is too much. Let, let me ask you this one. Okay. Who has not seen this? No one raise your hand. Okay. Tyler Phillips, where do you see this curve? Moody diagram. Which cause? What's that? Have you seen this? Yeah. This graph before in what class? Uh, fluids. Fluid mechanics? What about the uh, nodal analysis or something? Wales? Melissa, have you used this before? Okay. So in this class, there's no need to talk about this anymore, right? Isn't it? Oh, not, not quite now. As a yes. Matthew, Santo Cross. You have seen this before? Should we talk more about it? You know it, right? We have more content to talk about. So everyone, if I have a test, I just give you this chart. You don't have to use it, right? If you don't, you have to 
read a print from wiki, okay? This is kind of prerequisite. If you are in this level, I think you know it for sure. So you should know like how to use the uh, Moody diagram. Oh, who take the class on several, most of you take the nodal analysis, right? So, Charlie Chen, you take the nodal analysis? Yes. Can you tell me some flow pattern for gas and liquid? I did you, right? <laughs> I did you about flow pattern, right? Can you give me some flow pattern? Uh, and what else? Slow. 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 So this is a facility that we want to talk about, surface facility for this course. So we have water tank, oil tank. I don't know which one is which, but I think one of, one of these, one of them has to be oil tank, and many will be water tank. So this small thing is a separator. And we have uh, this one probably a vapor recovery unit. Okay. Have you seen vapor recovery unit before? Yes. Oh, I sh you should tell me then. Yes. What is what? Okay. Zooming up. That's a what? This is what? Separator? Separator, of course. Horizontal separator. And this one is header. Have you go to field trip before? And you have seen this already? Oh. So you need. So you have seen it in the field trip already. Field trip that you go this time will be maybe quite. Uh, repetitive for you to see. So what about this one? You have seen this kind of picture before? Marissa, what is what? What about this one? What is that one? Horizontal separator? What about this thing? Gas meter. Gas meter. So you don't need to study it more. You know it. What about this tank? Oil tank? I don't know, I think maybe oil tank is either oil tank or water tank, but you see this line connect like that and that thing will be what? I said, what do you want it to be? This thing? We are you, yes. So you have seen this already. Vapor recovery unit. Okay. Oh. So this thing is vapor recovery unit, right? And this one has a window over here, okay? I think it's have who said heater filter? So you have you have seen this before, right? But you want to go to field trip? It's a requirement, okay? So in the field trip, you will see it again. Okay, and you go to filter, you see it again. So this is heater filter, right? And tank battery. So the black one, I think this one has to be oil, oil tank. When oil spill, then we cannot see. That's good. So that's oil tank. And this on the on the top, that's a thin hatch. You have seen this before, right? Okay. And three tank battery. What about this one? Compressor, quite big, right? So you have seen this already? <laughs> What's your name again? Trey. Trey? I think it's B. B? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to the future, you will see this again, Trey. Trey. Uh, Trey, have you seen something like this? No, sir. That is a tank 
partially buried. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, it's, it's some kind of tank and it's buried underground. So that's to keep it, to insulate it. This one, uh, I think, is in Colorado. When it's cold, they don't want it to like form too much grass or freeze or have hybrid problem. So some tank battery, it doesn't need to be like this big, okay, or three tank. Sometimes it just have one tank, one two tank, separator, separator, and it just look like that, just one line. Okay. Sometimes look like this. So this is just for you to see. And this is tray. What is this? Uh, it's not a gas meter. Okay. Gas meter again, right? So that's our home. Oh, more question for you, Trey. So what more to know about this gas metering? What do you want to know more about this? You already know that this is gas meter. So what about the calculation part of it? Yes, question? Okay. So in this class, I don't show you picture. I don't I don't just show you the picture. So I show you how people do the calculation. Okay, calculation design. When you have a big tank, uh, several tanks together, how do how do I know how big should this be? Okay, should it be like one thousand gallon size or one thousand barrel size or how big it is? How do I know that? Or if we have heater treater, what kind of temperature that we should set for the heater treater? Okay, so do we try to set it very hot or not very hot or something? So this. Horizontal separator, when you use horizontal separator, or when you use a vertical separator. And you see all these lines connect together. How big should be the pipe? This pipe, so in this course, we will go over it again and calculate it. We have both equation, panhandle equation for gas flow, how big should be the pipe how much is the pressure drop for, for a certain size of the pipe. So, so in this course, you will see more calculation. It's not just equipment that you see. The equipment, you go to the field trip, you see it. Okay? In this course, there will be more on calculation part and easy calculation part. Uh, so this is the, um, the topic that you will start in. You see this one, hydrate and prevention. Oh, live already. It's not, I have class until 12, 20, right? Okay, I have five more minutes, don't, don't, don't leave yet. Okay, Trey, oh, let, let's call somebody else, somebody else. Black, step bridge. High break. So, what do you know about high break? What is hydrate? How does it look like? Is it just ice? Is it black, white, yellow? I have no idea. Okay, that's good. Because if you know it, you don't need to study it. So, Greg and John Correll. John? John, J-O-H-N, middle name is J, last name is Coral, C-O-R-R-A-L. John Coral. He literally just walked out of the room. <laughs> oh, John, I will ask your name. Oh, okay, let, let him go, this is just a first class. <laughs> How about it? Uh, Martin Elsenberg. That's Martin. Oh, uh, Martin's here. <laughs> Martin? Yes, I'm here. Okay. So, how about hydrate? You have seen it? Uh, no, I've not seen it. So no. uh, how do we prevent hydrate? No pressure, right? So, some of you may have some idea already. Separate the 
crude oil trading pump. Okay, let me call several more names. Kai Kuka. Okay. Chris Nyberg. Chris H N Y B E R G. He left. He left. He left. <laughs> so Chris decided to left. And John Coro decided to left again. <coughs> oh, so we we will cover all this, okay? Manifest flow. To what depth that you want to study it again? You have listening to me talk about manifest flow already. Ninety percent of the class, right? Ten more people didn't take it. Just that. Okay. And how many people? Ten. And another fifty-six people take it already. Two third of the class. Okay, we will go more into it again. Flow assurance. I ask you this question is not just to check whether you are here or not, okay? In addition to that, I want to know to what depth that I should go into detail. Like when I show you the picture of the facility, you know this already. So there's no point to spend too much time on that, right? Of course, we will go over it. But for something that is uh, like flow assurance part, Christian Perner, Chris C H R I S T I A N L N S last name P E R N E R. Not here or left. Not here. Okay. Megan Uke. Hi Megan. Hi. What topic that you already know? We have. Yeah, what topic do you already know? <laughs> that you are good at? I don't know, and it goes really well. You? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Short course in there. So, and you can do all the... You can do all this? This part? Yeah, they're all pretty familiar. Yeah. Not a problem, right? Yeah. Okay. So... I will check who missed yet because my TA come back today and he didn't get the finality either, so you should not get any. <laughs> See you later. Right now it's graduate. Okay. See you next time. Bye bye. My office hour is half an hour after class. Okay? So we can have it in the next And for I think one of you asked to see me after class, right? Please also, who haven't signed the sign-up sheet? Who haven't signed the sign-up sheet yet?